Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a uh, hunky dory craft haul. So I picked up some of their crafting handbooks, I've got some of their pens and then I've got a bunch of dies as well. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the dies themselves. So I picked up a few different packs. So if you actually go onto the Hunky Dory website, they've got some really great deals on, uh, so that you can have sort of two for £15, two for £30, you know, lots of great deals. So it is always worth just actually checking on the brand's websites, um, just to kind of see what deals they've got on. So with the dies, I have die cut a couple, just to sort of show you exactly how they cut, how well they cut, and sort of the sizes on here as well. And I will try to pop some links in the description box down below in case you're any interested in any of these products so like I said let's get started actually looking at the dies so the first one I got this is the layering butterflies so you can see there's 10 metal dies included in this die set you've got two different sizes and you've got then these sort of base ones these are just solid butterfly shapes and then for the smaller one, you've got three detailed butterflies. And then for the bigger one, you've got five. And you can see just how detailed these are. So really intricate. You've got some, you know, which have got slightly bigger bodies, but others, you know, that have got all of that really beautiful die cut detailing. And you could use this with loads of different techniques. You could ink them, uh, use your alcohol markers, you could watercolor, spritz them, you know, whatever you want to do. And I think you could create some really great butterflies. And I find that butterflies as well is one of those items that you have in your craft stash um, that's really versatile. You can put them out for so many different projects. And the reason that I picked these up was because if I'm making a more simple card or project, sometimes I think just adding something like a little butterfly or embellishment will just kind of change it up a little bit. So this was a recent card that I created on my channel. And, you know, I was sort of looking at this instead of maybe the Nouveau drops that we popped on, you know, just a small butterfly might have just finished the card off nicely. So I think this is going to be, you know, really useful in my stash. And like I said, if I just turn them over, you can see you've got then all of those really detailed dies. So yeah, really beautiful die set. You know, got 10 dies in here, really fantastic value for money, lots of metal here. And yeah, I'm really excited to start using these on the projects. So as I said, I did just die cut um, a couple of these so you can really kind of see what they um, are like and how they die cut so uh, so you've got your solid base there so then what you could do is just bend up the wings of this so I did just grab my dotty tape pen if we simply added a little bit of adhesive just down the middle we could add that on top and really kind of just see how beautiful that is so the next die we've got, this is the Moonstone Combos. So this is the Essential Words Thanks. And we've got a metal die and a coordinating A7 stamp set in here. So you'll be able to build your sentiments up. So we've got the thanks, that is the die portion. And then so we can have thanks so much, thanks you're the best. You've got an exclamation in there. So just to say thanks, you or thanks you're amazing, heartfelt thanks. So really, really brilliant for building all kinds of sentiments. And the natural thanks in this, I was so surprised at just how big this is. So this is the thanks die cut here. So that is a really nice sized die. And again, the actual stamp set itself is quite big. So again, this is another uh, US A2 size card. So this card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. And you can see just how big that thanks is. It's absolutely massive. Um, and it's just gonna be brilliant on, really these cards, you can get it on a slimline card. You know, it's just gonna take up a nice amount of space where you could literally just have that thanks, a little bit of something around the outside and there is your card finished. So a really fantastic size for that one. And then to go with this, we've got the Essential Words Hello. So again, this is exactly the same. And again, a massive Hello die in here as well. So we've got Hello Sunshine, Hello Beautiful. Again, lots of different uh, stamps to be able to build your sentiments. And again, then if I just showed the die cut to this, again, really, really big, which I, like I said, I was just so surprised at how big it was. So again, so, you know, you could have it, um, portrait and it's just it takes up such a nice amount of space um 
I, I really do love a big sentiment and then you know you could just stamp your um the rest of your sentiment you know and then just have a little sentiment strip on it and I think that would just look really great so I think they're just two really great um die and stamp sets just to have in your stash you can put out and really sort of customize your cards and like i said some really great big word dies in there as well so the next one i got this is the bold and beautiful alphabet so this has 52 metal dies in here so we've got two sets of alphabet so you've got the bold and then you've got what you could use as an outline but actually you could potentially have three different alphabets in here so you've got this one you've then got the outline but you've also got the inside uh, of this as well so again i have a die cut there so if i just show you the back so again really really nice size so here i've just die cut the word high so we've got this uh, big bold um alphabet up here and then here we've got again i've die cut the h and the i this is from the sort of outlines at the bottom and just to pull apart um this as well so you can see we've got that h outline and then we have like a really quirky um sort of uneven um, inside so you could paper piece this back in if you wanted to um, but again so within this set you've literally actually got three uh, different styles of fonts here uh, which I think again is going to be super versatile and that's like I said that's 52 metal dies in there these really weren't that expensive and it's going to be perfect for just an essential die set uh, within your craft stash so I'm really super excited to be using that one so the next few dies, I haven't actually um, die cut any of these, but I've picked up four packs of nesting dies. So here we've got the torn edges nesting dies, we've got it in the circles and then in the rectangle. So both of these sets include nine metal dies. And you can see if I just turn them over here, um, it's just going to have this really lovely sort of torn edge. Um, they did, Tim Holtz brought out that new deckled edge uh, paper trimmer. It's going to give you kind of the same sort of style as that. And I think depending on what kind of project you are creating, I think this could look really great. And again, then we've got that in those rectangles as well. So we've got, you know, the smallest one could be used to stamp a sentiment onto. So again, that was the torn edge nesting dies. Then the second set of nesting dies I picked up, these are the scalloped and straight edge nesting dies. And I've got those in the circle and the rectangles as well. So each of these have got five dies. You've got five of the straight edge and five of the uh, scalloped edge. So again, if we just turn them over, you can see that you'd be able to layer these up really nicely. And I do think that scallop edge is really beautiful when you mix it then with that straight edge as well. There's no sort of piercing detail on this or anything like that. It is just the straight edge, like I said, or the scallop edge there. And again, then we've got this in the rectangles. So again, you've got the smallest one could be used as a sentiment um, to really help die cut that. But again, then we've got that scalloped edge. But again, I just think that's really, it's a really beautiful finish. For me, it depends what the project is, but I think that's gonna look really great on some cards. So I'm really excited to get and use these nesting dies. So maybe we'll make sure we get them out in the next couple of videos. So I did buy a couple of these Prism World of Colour crafting handbooks. So this is volume six, and this is all about the brush markers. So I do have these. Um, you guys have seen me uh, use them in a couple of videos. So they are these pens here. So these are uh, brush markers. They are double-sided, so you've got the um, brush on the one end and then on the other end you do have more like a fine liner um, the colors do match which is great and they do have you know I've got the whole collection here and they do have a really fantastic range of colors the reason why I picked up this book was because I was really struggling to kind of understand how to use them um, or utilize them in the best way um i couldn't really find much online i wasn't sure whether they were supposed to be used like a brush marker for kind of calligraphy and like you know the brush lettering that's really popular at the moment um i didn't know if they were watercolor so something like those zig markers i've seen people use i couldn't really find much information um but then they do have again these books so this is filled with inspiration hints and tips um and i'm going to give this a read and really kind of work out 
what they can be used for and how best, like I said, to utilise them. Um, so they are water-based. I mean, so you've seen me use them to watercolour. Um, but yeah, I just wasn't really 100% sure kind of what to do with them. So it's got some, you know, what else you need. So they do do a range of stamps that you can use with them. Um, how to use them. So you've got colouring in, blending, watercolour, add in details to stamp. Um, so yeah, there's lots and lots of um, really great information in these books. Um, they are sort of really great quality. I believe they're £10 um, or sort of just under £10. But yeah, some really great sort of hints in here. And then just some project, uh, projects as well. So the markers that you need, you know, what else you'll need. And then just the instructions on how to actually create uh, these projects. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have a read through this and kind of see really what it says and just experiment a little bit more just to kind of make the most out of them. Um, so it's always great just to have a little bit of reading material. So that's the book I picked it, like I said, for the brush markers. But I did also get a second book as well. But this actually, it came free um, with the craft markers. Um, so this is the bundle that they uh, do. So they do all 14 packs, if I can pick them up, all 14 packs of the, so these are the Prism alcohol markers. So you get all 14 packs with then that book. So if you are interested in alcohol markers, if you wanna pick up, um, you know, a slightly cheaper alternative, um, maybe you don't wanna go with, the tri blend markers so these are you've seen them so many times these are the first alcohol markers that i picked up and i bought these ones uh, because they had the three colors in one and these are a really fantastic beginner's pen i really can't stress that enough if you are not new to alcohol coloring these uh, tri blend markers by spectrum noir are fantastic but as you know if you've been following me for a little while mine are starting to run out so i was looking at the copic markers and um, i have been looking at different alcohol markers as well uh, but because i am part of the uh, hunky dog design team for the um, Moonstone dies and the For Love of Stamps. Um, we do get a little bit of a discount and obviously I can use these then on the projects that I do create. This is a really fantastic bundle. I think the pens are roughly £10 each to buy for the pack of six um, and I think this book normally retails for about £9.99. But then the, the price that they've got the bundle at is just ridiculous. Um, I think in the end you save, um, and I think you get about six of these packs for free. So it is definitely worth checking out if you are interested in their alcohol markers. Um, so yeah, just head over to their website. You can um, check out the deals, check out the bundles that they've got and sort of the colors and things. But yeah, it was a really fantastic deal. So like I said, let me just show you the uh, packs. As I said, you've got a chiseled end and a bullet end. So if I just pull one of these out. So they're quite nice and chunky as well. They are uh, triangular. Um, so they do sort of sit in your hand quite nicely and they won't roll off your desk. So again, so this is the bullet end you've got here. So a lot like the uh, tri-blend markers. And then this end, you do have that really thick um, sort of chiseled end. So what I was finding with a little bit of colouring that I was doing today was I was doing the outline for bigger areas, outlining with this bullet end, and then I was using the chisel end, you know, to fill in sort of that bigger gap. So you do have the uh, code, the number code on each of the ends. So this is 517. Um, on the packaging itself, just underneath, um, so you do have, again, the colours, um, and it has got the names of them as well. So this one, 517, is actually Salmon. But they do come, like I said, together in their colour family. So this is the reds. Uh, so, you know, you've got your numbers on top, so you'll be able to kind of figure out the colours that you want to um, combine together. But these are great sort of starter packs, because you could use these three colours together, and then these three as well. So if I quickly just go over the packs you've got. So we've got the reds, we've got the yellows, we've got pinks, uh, we've got brown, we've got turquoise, greens, blues, 
uh, and purples. So they're kind of your, you know, your, your base sort of primary kind of colours. And then the additional packs they've got, so we've got darks. So these I'd imagine can just be mixed in uh, with your other packs. So we've got darks, we've got pastels, um, we've got brights, and then we've got neutrals, and then we've got cool greys and warm greys as well. Again, so a really fantastic uh, bundle of markers. Um, and like I said, again, for not really a lot of money, I think these end up being about 80, I want to say like 85 pound for all of these. And you got just a really great combination of colours. So I want to just show you something that I was working on just a little uh, bit earlier when this uh, did sort of come through the post. So I was having a go. I was literally just picking um, sort of the three pens that were next to each other in here. So again, you could use then what is in the um, handbook just to kind of, you know, sort of show you um, the sort of what I would say was maybe more starter combinations. But if I just sort of pull out three colours here and I'll just give you a really quick demonstration this is literally just how I colour obviously you guys have seen me uh, colour plenty of times so I'm going to come in with 418 to begin with I'm going to pop down a base colour so let's just do these few leaves here Then I'm going to come in with this darker one, so this is 434. And we're just going to add just some really sort of simple detail uh, shadows at the bottom. Then we're going to come in with uh, 421. So I'm going to, really going to have to get used to sort of picking the colours. Uh, and seeing really what kind of works together. That's going to be quite a, that is the challenge then of coming from the tri-blend markers, which obviously does all the hard work for you. Um, and that's where I was saying then this is kind of the next step up where you're not paying tons of money for alcohol markers, maybe if you don't actually get on with them. Um, but it means then you can take that next step in sort of, you know, having more colors, having a bigger range, maybe, you know sort of coloring in more of a style that you like to color so maybe you like to have kind of bigger differences between your shadows and your um highlights maybe you like them to be really close together sort of the um shades of colors it really just depends what your style is but you know this will give you just a little bit more freedom uh so there is a much bigger range obviously there's not the range that you'll get with something like copic sketch because there's sort of 300 odd different colors there but as I said it's just a really great step up um, from that beginner pen so hopefully that kind of makes sense I haven't hopefully I've not sort of confused you or uh, sort of rambled too much about it but that is kind of my basic point is that like I said these are a really fantastic price point for what you're getting and for the amount of pens you are getting um and yeah it's like I said, it's just that next step up from that real kind of beginner pen which in my opinion would be something like the tri-blend markers so that was a look at my recent hunky dory craft haul uh so hopefully you know if there's some products in here that you do quite like the look of get over onto their website and take a look like i said i will try to put some links in the description box down below for you to check out uh, so hopefully we'll be able to create a video very soon using some of these products um so we'll definitely see what we can create with these so that's it for this haul video. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so so you don't miss out on any future videos that I do upload to my channel. On screen now, there's three other videos that I think you might be interested in, um, so be sure to check those out. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.